Hello, sorry about that. I had to look at all my settings for some reason. OBS forgot that I wanted to use this mic, even though I use it every single time. So hello, everybody. I'm sorry, I'll say that all again. <laughs> I was just saying hi to everybody anyway. So we're gonna do a craft and we're also gonna do um, an art project. So I missed a little bit of the chat, but I will catch up later. We are going to make some witches bells that are um, Yule themed. You can put these on your door handle. Moon says, I was watching Lady MC's last year's Yule Crafts videos, hoping you would do more, and here you are, yay. <laughs> Gotta get started early. So I'm gonna make two different kinds, and I practiced a few. So this one has a giant jingle bell as the center, and then this version is the same, except it has a pinnacle and a little uh, a bow instead. Hey, Fern, welcome. Now there's no music behind my voice. Oh my goodness, okay. I don't know what to do with that. Let's see here. I guess OBS just lost all of my settings. I did do an update. Maybe that's what happened. Hmm. Do we have some music now? I think we do. Sorry about that. Everybody's here today, Lady Galaxia and Stacy JC and Moon and Fern and Red Lorraine and oh see Kitty says I hear the music. Okay, so I guess I must have turned it off and then turned it back on again. <laughs> okay, let's get going with this. I've got some really pretty peppermint striped ribbon to start with. Just gonna glue that on. And then I'm going to go and wrap it around, I think, six times. Yeah, OBS wanted me to do an update and I kept putting it off. So I finally went ahead and, and let it do its thing. You never know what you're going to get. I was thinking about changing my music for um, the 2023 streams because we've been listening to this music for a year now and while it's pretty it can get repetitive hey Lisa so I'm just gonna match these two up here Julie says, I may look new, but I've been watching every live stream on the following day for more than a year. I'm so glad you got here live too. Okay, so let's glue these together and try to match up these stripes. Hi, 
Hi, Lennon. Hi, Tiberius. Okay. Kind of match up the stripes. It doesn't really matter because it's going to be on the back anyway. <laughs> it's my little crazy brain. Never change the music. I was thinking jazz, Julie. So we got one. Now we need to do three little, this is a mess. I did not organize this. There we go. Three little bells hang down. Lisa says, everyone needs to send out snow vibes tonight. I need a snow day tomorrow. <laughs> Lady Galaxia says, I'm so happy I get to watch tonight. My schedule is kind of cleared now that I've sprained my wrist. Oh no, but getting to watch a live stream helps. <laughs> Got all these fun little jingle bells. Oh no, you were playing with your son outside. Katie, the art witch says, I'm making dinner and maybe I'll get to paint a little. We're gonna paint after this project too. I'm gonna paint my, um, my December pen pal cards. I didn't share my um, artwork for the November cards, but I think it came out really cute. I was thinking about doing a Patreon video, just doing a real quick speed paint with no talking, because that would be easy to edit. Because the thing that takes me the longest to edit in my videos is writing something to say. Julie says, I hear this music in my sleep. Some of these, um, some of these songs are ones I put on my videos as well. I use the, I just use the YouTube music service. Hey, Moira. Moira says, it is snowing in Ottawa, Canada right now. Jill says, this is kind of your theme music for crafting. Yeah, if I change the music, it would just be a jazzy background. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing anything crazy. Okay, we got three of these guys. Let's get in a little closer. What do you think? Does that look good? Yeah. I can see we're going to start talking about Christmas movies. Yay. So I've got my three bells and I'm kind of staggering them so that they are in a line. I know now this music kind of means that the stream is coming, right? So if I change the music, that might be a problem. I'm starting to miss, miss the comments because I'm doing crafting. See, there's a thing that pops up when you're streaming that says, now's a good time to insert an ad. <laughs> and it covers up the chat. I'm not going to insert an ad. North Wildings, hey, we woke up this morning with snow this morning in Maine. 
And Robin says it's snowing there right now. Hi, Mel from Australia. Hi, Greenleaf. Okay, we're gonna do a giant, a giant glue blob. Stick these in. Into the blob, and then, and then, and then, put a giant bell right on top to hold them. Polar Express is a yearly required movie. Strange Little Lass wants to know if whiskey is going to defeat the run. No, it doesn't. It's the perfect ending to the run. The whole bell heated up because of that hot glue. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to add these little guys. Aren't they cute? I bought an enormous bag of them because I want to add them to all of my crafts. Okay, I'm missing all the chat. Lady Galaxy says, My favorite Christmas movie is a tie between The Grinch and A Christmas Story. So I think we're doing five. One, two, three, four, five. So on each one of the green spots. Jill Plucky. So that makes sense. Now I understand the comment that said it's another Jill. <laughs> Sometimes I read the comments out of order and then they don't make sense. Fern says in Joplin we got a little got a little snow and we are going to get flurries tomorrow. Oh man, you guys it was 75 here today. <laughs> We can still sit outside for lunch. I'm very exceedingly jealous of the fact that you guys have seasons or that many of you have seasons. We have slightly rainy and insanely hot. Those are our two seasons. And I'm, in, I'm super excited if we get rain because it's winter. Oh, Ollie, that is so kind of you. Thank you. I'm going to tuck this into the greenery if I can. These are plastic greenery, so it's not that easy. Moira says, it's a wonderful life, makes me cry every time. These are little fairy pine cones. Lady Galaxia says, Bad Mom's Christmas is a close runner up. Greenleaf says, I live in view of Pike's Peak and it's covered with snow, but down here in the foothills were just cold. Yeah, I shouldn't complain. At least I can just drive to snow. And then clean up all the little spider webs of glue and we're done. How cute is it? Put this on your door handle at Christmas time. Keep all the negative vibes out. You 
You put this on your altar and consecrate it as a magical tool. And then no one will know that you're uh, keeping all the bad vibes out. Cute. Or you can do one that's a little more obvious with a pentagram on it. I thought I'd do both kinds because I'm going to put these in my Etsy shop. So give people the opportunity whether they want to have a pentagram or not. <laughs> now, not everybody's out of the broom closet. And even people who are, sometimes they're not 100% out. Stacy, JC, what is a gonk? I see your comment that says tiny gonks made from those tiny pine cones. Moon says they watched the Nutcracker Ballet last night. It's official now. <laughs> There have been so many good Nutcracker productions that have been filmed. Yes. Looks like Lennon watched the Disney one. Hi, Laura. You've finally been able to catch a live. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining live. Vern says, I live on five acres of land and get to see all four seasons. I'll send you pics. Yeah, you, you know you can put pics in the community section of uh, of Patreon, too. There's like a little community tab, and nobody knows about it. It's like the best-kept secret. I need to figure out... You guys can figure this out. I'm, I've cut these too long, so I have a, I'm going to have a bunch of these at the end. Now, you guys are smart. You'll be, tell me what I can do with 10 of those. Last year, somebody complained that they got tired of seeing Christmas crafting on r really close to Christmas. And I thought, well, if you celebrate Yule, then, then you got four fewer days. And that kind of stuck with me all year, so I decided to start early with some of my um, DIYs. Because, yeah, you need time to decide if you want to do it and get the stuff and make the craft. Nobody's going to be doing this on Yule night. This one looks a little wonky. I don't know why, but I like that one. Put that one on the bottom, huh? Cover it up with the bow. This one looks a little... There we go. Yeah, cover that one up with a bow. Mm-hmm. North says, I saw an amazing foreign Krampus movie. I saw that came out last year, didn't it? I missed it, but I want I do want to see it. Is it on Netflix? I can't remember where I saw that. Katie the Art Witch says, maybe the pentagram will keep the solicitors away. <laughs> Julie says, I know it keeps the Mormons away. Moon says, I already put up the tree with twinkle lights. It's a Yule tree, so it can go up any time. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this little guy on first so I don't cover him up accidentally with the bow. Got to get the positioning right on this baby. There we go. Nice. Hold it. Mm -hmm. 
Hello, Kimberly. Jill says, I am another person on my block has a pentagram wreath. I'm tempted to put one up too. You know, the great thing about Christmas is that stars are real big because of the, um, that whole follow the star situation. So you can put stars in wreaths. You know, a little five pointed star in a wreath is a pentagram. So there you go. Maha, I don't know why it always tries to hide your comments. The kind of pagan Xmasy. Maybe because it had an X? I don't know. Kimberly says, hello to all. Love your channel. I liked watching Santa and the Three Bears. Maha says, these are so cute. You can buy one of these on my Etsy shop. There's a link under the description. So I wanted to do a video this season that are enchanting gifts for witches, like a little gift guide. I thought about it and I was like, should I put any of my own products in this video? Or is that too much? And then I said, oh, well, I'm going to put my own products in this video. So I decided to put my book series. So that'll be coming out in a, probably a week. Like, I don't want to be too salesy, but I really like my little grimoires and all my notebooks and, and my journals and stuff that I made. I'm going to, I'm going to show people, because I think people forget that I've made a bunch of little planners and notebooks, workbooks and stuff. Because I don't talk about them very much. I should do some videos on them. <laughs> Thought you said morons. No, Mormons. <laughs> Beth Cox says, I do enjoy watching Elf at Christmas. Now that is one of my top 10 Christmas movies. Elf is up there for me. You guys, I forgot to put the bells on this one. Guess I have to put it behind. Okay, time to add the bells. Hi, Laura Haven. Oh, thank you for the compliment. Maha says, I like the Green Knight animated version, which is set at Christmas. Maha says, I really want those. They're beautiful, but I don't want to use Amazon. Unfortunately, they're published by Amazon, so I can't publish them in any other way. Because once you publish them with Amazon, you're kind of locked in. And by kind of, I mean 100%. IVL, hi. First time here, long time witch. Question, wouldn't it be easier to hang the pentagram from the wreath with a thin ribbon? I think what I'm going to do is make some witch's bells that are the traditional kind, and I'm going to do that. 
just does not want to go through. It's the bell. Moon says, I'm making the Simmer Yule, Yule Potpourri from one of your last year's videos to put in jars and give as gifts. Thanks for so many crafty ideas. Oh, I love it when people do stuff uh, on that I um, do the crafts that I put up. I always wonder if people do them. Jill says, glue the bells to the ribbon. Wouldn't they fall off in the mail? If I mailed this to somebody and the bells were glued on? I don't know. I can't take, I can't take that chance. If somebody got if somebody got my product in the mail and the bells were off. Somebody just gave the name of the scary Krampus movie and I missed it. It's called, it's called Rare Exports for the Scary Krampus film from 2010. Okay, Rare Exports. Ivy says, remember Bell Book and Candle? I consider it a Christmas movie. I consider any movie that's set at Christmas a Christmas movie. That's why I consider Die Hard a Christmas movie. It's my number one Christmas movie and I watch it every year. Another favorite is Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Nara says, I watch many versions of A Christmas Carol. Kimberly watches Christmas Story all year round. Okay, we got our bells. Honestly, I was chatting with you guys and reading the chat, and I forgot to add these before I put the bow on. I hope it looks okay with these being glued to the back. I'll hide it. Rare Exports was brilliant. Okay, Red Lorraine is definitely a horror movie aficionado because I know her personally. So if she says it's a good one, then it probably is. Okay. We got it. I'm going to tie these together and see if that helps me. Did you literally just say kiss, kiss, bang, bang? Didn't think anyone else thought that was a Christmas movie. That is definitely probably my number three Christmas movie. Number one is Die Hard. Die Hard Forever. This tying, the, this tying idea is, is, is brilliant. Why didn't I think of that before? just stick a leaf over it and no one knows that we forgot to put that in there. Perfect. Nora says, I watch Adam's Family Values at Thanksgiving because of the play. Okay. Trading Places with Eddie Murphy. Okay, that, I, I hadn't thought of that one. Just gotta cut this nicer. There we go. Done. Cute. I love them.
Which version do you guys like? Pentagram or Giant Bell? I like them both. I can't really pick one. I think maybe the, maybe the Pentagram because the bow is large. I really like this though. Because it's a bell and then it has bells. I don't know. Hard to say. Jill Plotke says, Netflix has a series, The Movies That Made Us, and they talk about behind the scenes and how movies were made. Die Hard is one of those, and it's such an interesting watch. I did watch the one um, about aliens. I did not watch the Die Hard one, though. I gotta check that out. Kimberly says, we usually watch Wizard of Oz. It's not Christmas, but it's a tradition. I'm missing these comments here. A Christmas Horror Story with William Shatner. What? Christmas Horror Story with William Shatner. I, I don't know if I can trust that. Okay, so we are going to clear out my mess and we're gonna do artwork next. Do you guys want me to put the I'll be right back artwork up or do you mind just watching me clean? Moon says need them must make now. Both are super cute. People are voting pentagram, both bells. See, I think they're equally cute. Nara says, Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas. Never seen it. North says, I saw the William Shatner one too. I know, but was it good? Trust. I don't know. I, I don't know if I can trust. That sounds bad. Hi, Navis. Mentagram and Bell. See, nobody can pick. They're very cute. So I've linked all the materials that you need to make them um, below as well. So if you want to make them, you can grab all the items. And if you want to buy them, uh, there's also a link to my Etsy shop. Nice and clean. So here's our artwork. It's gonna be a little cartoony. We have a fox and a bear and a rabbit. And I have to change the lights. I wanted that warm Christmassy feeling to the lights when I was doing the uh, wreaths, but I didn't realize how yellow it was going to make the paper look, so I have to change it. Shatner narrates an anthology in a small town where Christmas leads to mayhem and he gets drunk and cussy. Okay, you're selling me. So this is what we're gonna go with. The thing I wanna do before we start is use some of this. It's called uh, masking fluid. It's child proof, so I can't get into it. And I'm going to try and make snow, a snow background. If 
by masking out some of the spots where, where the snow is falling. And then that way it will not paint on that. Same with the moon, I'm going to mask out the moon. And anything else that is white so like I'm gonna probably make this little this little bit on the bunny's hat white also the tip of the tail on the fox snow also in the foreground as well. Hi TJ. I'm going to try to make my little snow dots large and small if I can. Go far away and close up. Oh, the bunny tail, yep, good point. And the fox's um, little chest. You guys see? <laughs> see how those little yellow bits are gonna stay white? Lady Galaxia says, that reminds me, my husband had the child locks on in his truck for our son, and the other day I got locked in because he forgot to turn the child locks off. I think I was stuck for 20 minutes until he came back out from the store and told me I could have just climbed into the front seat and got out. Bye, Lyndon. Have a good night. I was looking into next year and I realized in 2023, the uh, first and third Wednesdays of the month quite often fall on or almost exactly on or just one day off of some of the major holidays. So I think I'm gonna do little celebrate the holiday with me live streams where we do crafting and drink wine or something.
Okay, we've almost got all this snow in here. I got the idea because the uh, December, the second live stream in December falls on the 21st. So we'll actually be having a live stream on Yule. And then I think I'm going to do the thing that I just said that I didn't want to do, which is do a Yule craft on Yule. I'm not sure what else to do to celebrate. Do some kind of art or craft. That's my bag, baby. watch a lot of um, watercolor painting things on Instagram and they're all sped up. And then doing this on a live stream just seems kind of slow. I'm glad you guys find this relaxing because I sometimes wonder if it's if it's too slow. I think maybe I got all the white bits. Oh, I forgot to bring, um, I forgot to bring water. Sorry for the delay, I had to get some water for my watercolor. So I want to try something new. I've never tried it before, so we'll have to see. They're um, watercolor markers. Maybe we should do a test. Before we get into this artwork. Give it, let's give it a try. I also have my regular watercolor paints so we can fall back. We have a brush tip, and then we have a tiny, tiny little pointy tip.
Maha, your comments are not being hidden. You said we could explore the pagan origins of the gingerbread man. I don't know the pagan origins of the gingerbread man, but I could look it up. This is interesting. Whoops, it still uh, had a little bit of meant to make green there. Sorry, I stepped away to get some water, so I missed a bunch of comments. I think I'm too, I think I'm too scared to use this for my watercolor that I'm doing today because I, I need to play with it a little bit more. I'm excited to learn about these. Do you know what? I think I'd better stick with what I know. for the time being, because I don't want to mess up my artwork that we spent a lot of time on. I think we're going to go ahead and stick with regular um, moon. That's the first time I've opened them and tried them. So yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. I'll have to report back and let you guys know how they work. And then if I, uh, if I really like them, then I can start using them for my pen pal cards. But for now, I think I'm just going to stick to the tried and true. I should probably, Lady Galaxia, I should probably watch some YouTubers use them first. Yeah. Just to uh, see what the techniques are before I try to just jump into this and figure it out myself. Why, re why reinvent the wheel when somebody else has already done all the testing and figuring out for me? Just looking for real quick. And a couple of little uh, pieces of uh, inspirational art. that I wanted to click open just to, just so I have something to, to look at here. Sorry, I'm taking the easy way out, but I just want to make sure that I don't mess up the, the card for my, my pen pal patrons. Okay, let's jump in. Kim says, your channel is what I watch after my chemotherapy treatment. It relaxes me. Oh, I'm so glad. Best wishes on your chemo. Absolutely. You can get all the best vibes sent your way when you come to a witchy channel to hang out for sure.
Johnny says, this is a relaxing stream. Thanks, you're so welcome. I left a lot of border around the edge because when I send off the artwork to have it turned into a greeting card, I find that a lot of the edge portion gets cut off because the proportions aren't exactly, the aspect ratio is not exactly right. Maha says they look cool, but yeah, it's a different technique you could show us next time. Definitely, we'll figure them out for the next time I do an art stream. I really am wanting to learn how to use them. Just a little too nervous today. Hi, Harlow. Thank you. We're going kind of cartoony. I just wanted something cozy and I thought it would be really fun to put a bunch of animals and scarves and hats. My first drawing just had um, a fox and a, a rabbit. And then I thought, I want to add a bear, but by the time I'd already had the fox and the rabbit on there, it was too, they were too large because I didn't have enough space to add a bear that was like somewhat the correct size, so I had to start over. Kim says, thank you, Red Lorraine. I'm going into remission. I'm excited. And these things give me ideas for friends. Oh, congratulations. I'm so glad to hear that. I too am a cancer survivor. So that is amazing to hear. is a, the sign that I need to stop and take a drink, but I don't want this to dry, so I gotta get the sky in before I stop.
Moon says, my kitten is enjoying the relaxing music and the sleep. So far, he's been good about not de attacking the decorations. And that comment is what reminded me that next stream, um, December 7th, I think it is, is the first Wednesday of uh, December. I'm going to be doing a stream where I'm uh, making decorations for my Yule tree. And I'm going to be using all yarn and fibers like uh, felt and um, needle felting and yarn. And the first concern was, is my cat going to try and go for these decorations? <laughs> we'll have to see. I'm going to turn this whole thing so I can get over to this. haven't even had Thanksgiving and it feels like there's a lot of Christmas stuff already out and I've really been getting into the Christmas and Yuletide mood lately. I think the advertising is working on me more than usual. I've been wanting to decorate early. I forgot to, um, I was going to run my little video that I made for the retreat. Oh well, next time. If you guys are thinking about signing up for the retreat, it's about two-thirds full already. So jump over to the website or send me an email. Thinking of going. I'm a little bit torn about if it fills up, do I just start opening up another one or do I wait until I see if I if enough people want to do another one? Like I'm not really sure how doing a second one would work. I guess I would need to get people guaranteed and with guaranteed interest. Lady Galaxia says it feels awesome having so many people to connect with and share our interests with. Best coming ever. Oh, and the other thing, speaking of sharing interests and being a group, I started a newsletter. I couldn't quite figure out where to put all my information. Like if something new is going on, I just I want a place I can tell people without having to make a video and hoping that everybody catches that specific video. So I decided to start a newsletter. So if you want to sign up for my newsletter, you can go to the link below the stream and sign up. It's not going to come out until 2023, though, because I don't have any more time left in, in this year. 
So it would start in January and it's going to be once a month. Okay, there's my background. Kimberly says they're having warmed cup of chai tea and fig newtons. Mmm, that sounds good. I want to do the same color but lighter down here. So I think, I think that just gonna do some white and I'm gonna just dab my blue into the white over here and see what I get. Lady Galaxia says, oh no, can I send mine through Patreon? You can just send me an email at magicalcraftingretreat at gmail.com and I'll get you started. pretty good. It's the same color but paler. And I'm cheating with white instead of doing it uh, with with make, making it paler with water. I hope this white stuff, this masking fluid works and that it comes out cute with the snow. Whoops, I got some bleeding. That's not cute. have to fix that in post as they say in the movie industry. Green chai with spice, ego cream soda and homemade corn homemade corn dogs. Mmm. Get enough white here. Maha, the big five O. The older we get, the smarter we are. I've learned that the older I get, the less about other people's opinions I care about. And it's a very freeing experience getting older. I like it.
can't believe I ran out and now I'm trying to color match. What a mess. Mix enough paint to start. This is the lesson. This, uh, this is coming out pretty cute. We have some close birthdays here. They say that if you have 20 people in a room that there'll be a very high likelihood that two people will share a birthday. Does anybody in chat have a birthday that's January 30th? I like it. I like it. We're getting there. Seventy, that's a big one too. Seventy. All the all the decades. The fifty, sixty, seventy, all those are good. Lady Galaxy is going for 30. Everybody's having their, uh... Maha says 52 sounds like a lucky age. I'm going to get my dryer out because I don't want any more situations where the, the colors touch and bleed. Moon says, I'm starting to get in the baking mood. Apple, cranberry, tart... Yes, please. I'll be right over. I decided that I was not in the baking mood, so I ordered one of those boxes where they send you bread and then you can bake it, but you don't have to make it. I haven't baked one yet, so I haven't found out if I like it. I thought I might try it at least for a couple of months and see. Red Lorraine said, I thought I was buying one nutmeg, but I bought one pound of nutmegs. 
Oh my goodness, what are you gonna do with them? And you could make a necklace. A little nutmeg necklace, I don't know. What can you do with a pound of nutmegs? Cindy says, I'm still in the pumpkin spice mood. I am too. Moon, I don't think that using puff pastry is cheating at all. I feel like if you put any effort whatsoever into making something, it's all good. You can't do everything. It's do what you can do. Oh, I forgot that I put the snow in front of the trees. I was wondering what that spot was. <laughs> Stocking stuff for nutmegs. <laughs> oh boy. Give them to everybody at your office or something. Nutmeg is one of the ingredients in, uh, you know, love spells. Also, I think money drawing, but mostly for love, I think. I will hoard the nutmeg until the nutmeg is scarce and all the others come to me for my nutmeg. That's a plan also. That, that is definitely a thing that you can do with your nutmeg. And we're all gonna be sorry that we didn't buy a pound of nutmeg. And we hope you remember us in the times of the nutmeg scarcity. And remember all the good times that you had with us and we'll sell your nutmeg to us first, your friends. That sounds biblical. I feel like this blue should have, uh, this green should have some blue in it, yeah? Let's blue this up. There we go. on account of winter and whatnot and so forth. There's reasons. We don't need to get into them. So a lot of times I'll start the stream and I'll kind of be a little down and then I'll be streaming with you guys and my mood will lift and it'll be a fun time for all. But this time I decided I don't want to start down. So instead what I did was I Eat a bunch of sugar right before the stream. So I will be up. Okay, we have two trees out of five blue spruces. Yes, that's what I meant. Reasons. I knew there were reasons. When we went to Big Bear to do the mock retreat, to give it a try before the real thing. There were trees out there that looked fake. We could not believe they were real. And then it was uh, raining and hailing and all sorts of crazy weather. 
which we never get weather either. So we were like just standing at the windows, staring out weather. Very exciting for those of us who don't get it. TJ says, may I ask what kind of activities will be done at the retreat? Oh, I'm so excited. It's not until next October, but I've already planned out most of the things because I'm just so like into it. We are going to do um, group meals and group crafting for three days. Um, we're going to be doing all sorts of crafting, not art like this. We're not going to be doing paintings and stuff like that. It's projects that um, I'm putting together that anybody with any level of skill can do successfully. So there's going to be pumpkin decorating. Now remember, this will be close to Samhain next year. Pumpkin decorating. There's going to be little um, shadow box shrines that we're going to make. Um, let's see, what else do we have? I was thinking witch's bells and a witch's ladder. And intention stick spells. And most everybody who has answered the questionnaire says that they're interested in kitchen witchery. So I was thinking we could also do a little bit of baking and do kind of uh, like all souls cake or um, pumpkin spice bread or haven't decided on that. It's not really crafting, but I just wanted to know what everybody's interest level was in the kitchen stuff. If people wanted to do group cooking, because the kitchen at the place is amazing. It's amazingly large and it would be really fun to do like at least one baking thing together. And we're gonna do group meals. And there'll be a lot of other crafts too. I haven't planned all of them out yet, but I'm also taking, when I send out the questionnaire, when people email me about the retreat to sign up, um, I send them a questionnaire and I ask them what kind of projects they want to do as well. So you can get your opinions in there. Make sure that doing something fun for everybody. We're going to do a little wreath and a little broom project. And... I'm going to do a tarot card holder, and then I'm going to have a uh, early bird and night owl project because we're going to start crafting at 10 a.m. and we're going to stop crafting at 6 p.m. So I figured if there's some people who are either early birds or people who are night owls that would rather craft or wants to do some projects at night or in the morning before we get started or after we end, I'm also going to provide little, little kind of a craft in a bag kind of a thing where your project is all in the bag. Everything you need to complete it is going to be in the bag. So if anybody wants to do crafting outside of the regular hours, they've got a little project. Helpful Natural says, here in Wisconsin, we got our first snowfall yesterday into this morning. Got four inches of wet, heavy stuff. Not ready for this. <laughs> I like that frozen face emoji. <laughs> Cindy says, it's snowing here in Louisville right now. Maha says, stay safe on the roads. TJ says, bring Red Lorraine's nutmeg to do the kitchen witchery with. <laughs> the tree on the right is definitely a brute blue spruce. No, 
Okay, let's get into this. What do you think, the fox? Let's get into the fox. Kimberly says, Big Bear is awesome, went there when I lived in Cali. And to be honest, I had never visited before, um, before the trip that we took to check out the location. I know there were a bunch of people in chat last stream that said that they were teachers and they can't go in October, but that they would go in, um, in May or June instead. So I was looking into another location up on Palomar Mountain. This looks really red on screen, but it's actually much more orange colored in real life. I don't know why my camera picks all the orange up as red. There, that's a little bit more orange, orangey. You know, before I make these into my pen pal cards, I turn, I actually scan them into Photoshop so if I make any little errors if I go outside of the line I can fix them in post <laughs> is that cheating stay pretty true to the original. I'm going to put a little bit of orange in his tail. Yeah, if you're interested in doing the retreat, I wanted to, to I forgot to tell everybody, I'm so bad at self-promotion, tell everybody to go to MagicalCraftingRetreat.com or just email me at MagicalCraftingRetreat at gmail.com. Either way, get you started. went too far on this. It's too dark. Gotta dab some away. Now it's too light. There we go. Usually if you put down some watercolor, it's pretty much there, but if you catch it fast enough, you can fix it a little bit. 
Not a lot. And I'm moving on. So weirdly, it wants to like censor Maha saying Xmas, but it lets you say ki 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 ki. <laughs> That's so weird. I don't understand. <laughs> Let's get into the bar. I'm going to be real careful because I don't want to go too dark on the bear, uh, the bear's face. Got to darken it up slowly. I'm glad we didn't use the pens because I would have been so nervous throughout the whole thing. But I promise to learn how they work and get back to you guys. So the inside of the ear is going to be darker and then the nose is, the nose is going to be dark. The face is going to be a bit lighter. So that should dry lighter, I hope. We'll see how that works. Galaxia asks, are you going to put glitter in this beautiful painting? I don't think so. No, not this one. You all know that you can get the beautiful glitter paints over at Scarlet Nymph on Etsy. I did not plan on using any of those today because this is such a cartoony, flat looking piece of artwork. Wanted to keep it looking uh, classically filled in, cell shaded, I guess, almost. Well, no, I mean, that's not the style.
One of the things about the location for the retreat up in Big Bear is that it has so much kitschy decor in it. It has so many fish and bear and moose and deer, uh, pieces of artwork everywhere throughout the entire place. We were thinking about doing a uh, count the number of count the number of fish or deer or moose kind of a contest to win a prize to see who could get closest to the correct number of how many of these animals were all over the house. It's everything from the sheets to the light switches to I mean, just everywhere, coasters. Sharon says, I'm enjoying this so much. Thank you. You're so welcome. Thanks for joining me. Okay, I think we gotta leave our bear for a minute and go on to our rabbit. Let this guy dry for a second. Red Lorraine says, there was a cabin painting with a bear sitting in a living room with a fish on the wall. <laughs> I, the fox has no cocoa. I knew somebody was going to mention that. I wasn't sure how to do that. I, I thought about putting a little cup on the ground, but then I thought, I don't know. <laughs> What color should we make the rabbit? Just kind of an, a, a light, light raw sienna. I don't know. The face on the bear reminds you of your first teddy bear as a child. Interesting. My first teddy bear was named Brownie. getting there. Kimberly says, I think this could be in a Christmas book. Oh my goodness. If I was making this for a Christmas book, I would take more than an hour and a half on it. 
for sure. So I think that these are both the outside of the ear, so we're not going to have any pink because the ears are being pushed down by the hat. So we don't see the inside. TJ says, my first teddy bear was called Claus. He was big and snuggly with the cutest face. Okay, I'm going to darken up a little bit. Went too dark. I like the ears darker. Cute. I like it. He didn't even have claws. Was he given you, to you by Sandy Claws? So I have a story that's a completely random share. My first, um, my first teddy bear, Brownie, was given to me by an, a friend of the family, an, an aunt, and it was named Brownie, and it was given to me on like when as a as a birth gift so I got it on the day I was born I still have it to this day and several years ago now when we were looking through some of my husband's childhood toys and out came this ancient looking teddy bear and it looked very similar to brownie and I said, that looks like Brownie. And he said, it is Brownie. I said, what are you talking about? <laughs> Brownie's my, my baby bear, my first, my first bear. And apparently he had a bear given to him in his, when he, early childhood. I don't know if it was, you know, as a baby, but 
It was also named Brownie. What are the chances of that? And that we both still have them and they are now sitting on a shelf together, the two brownies. I just thought that was so random. We were also born in the same hospital. So random. Things are super random. Okay, do we think red for the all the for all the hats and scarves and that kind of stuff? Oh, good night, TJ. Good night, Kimberly. Oh my goodness, we're, we're getting there. We're almost done. It's getting to be about six o'clock. Can we do it? I hate to leave a project half done on stream. What if we did some stripes in this? in this as well. I could do um, that, this stuff again. Moon says, okay, dinner is in the oven and the kitten is fed. Now back to important things. <laughs> you guys are so nice. Call my stream the important thing. That's going to do it. I think I just made lines. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if those make lines and dots. I gave it a shot. Like it's gonna work. Moon says, I'm sorry if this question has already been answered, but if I go on to Patreon, will I be able to pick this up in time for Christmas? Yes, if you become a pen pal level patron, this will go out in December.
I always have to do the cards early because I have to send them out to the printer and get them printed up and then mail them all out. I need a smaller paintbrush. It's too large. I think the stripes may have halfway worked. So what is the deal with the inside of a fox's ear? Is it the dark brown or is it light brown? I didn't have a reference photo of a fox picked out because I thought I knew what one looked like. It's happening, it looks good. I think the underneath part of the scarf is a little darker. There we go. Somebody says it's whole, so heckin' cute. And the fox is so elegant.
cute. Cindy says, this will get framed. I frame all my pen pal cards and put them out seasonally. That is so nice of you. Oh no, I forgot to put the lid on this. It's gonna dry up and turn into plastic, basically, I think. Sorry, I got so quiet there. I'm just really focusing on this. Don't want to mess this up at the last second. So I'm thinking not red for the bear's mittens and scarf because we have so much red going on. Do we think blue? Or do you feel green? different colors on different foxes. Moon, did you look that up for me? Thank you so much. Helpful Natural says the inside of a fox's ear is a dark gray color. Black inside of the ear, some not. Black tipped thing if you want, but not necessary. I think I'm going to go with this then so I can get this brown, bring that brown in. Thank you guys. Helpful. I know it seems like there's yellow in this picture, but it's this stuff is going to come off and it's going to be white. One of these green colors from the background, I think. I got a lot of green to work with here. I don't know if I want to bring yellow in. What do we think about these cups? Should they stay white or? Lady Galaxia says the last pinball card was the one with the bats from Samhain, right? I just want to make sure I didn't miss one in the mail. That's right. And the November one is coming. Uh, it's going into the mail tomorrow. So it should come in a few days. And it wasn't themed to any holiday because we don't have a holiday in November. It was just a, a fun little cozy scene.
You like the white for the cups or for the scarf and mittens for the bear. Cups, green, scarf, and gloves, purple. Oh, Sharon says, I hate to leave, but my jet lag is getting the better of me. Good night and thank you. We're almost done, so um, you can just check out the final thing on the video tomorrow. Don't, don't stay up too late for this. Lady Galassia says, thank you. Still going to be calling the post office tomorrow because I don't want to end up missing important mail. Cups green, mittens white. Mm, that might be good. Does the scarf look good white? Should the scarf be white but have little red stripes in it? Or, oh, hey, the scarf could have like little red, um, like that pattern of the snowflake pattern you know, that Scandinavian snowflake pattern I'll be right back I just wanted to show you guys the um, the pen pal card for that's coming to you for those of you who are pen pal patrons. Moon, if you jump in, I can get you one of these as well. If you jump in by today, how cute is that? I had so much fun with this little painting. I may have pushed the red a little bit too much in Photoshop because it got blown out. But this is what you get, you know, you get a little a, mo a note and you get some little stickers as well, some cute little deers and bears and stuff. And then I always stick on the, um, the note with a piece of washi tape so that way you can resend this card. You can use this card however you want, but it's not written on. I just love this painting. So that's the November one that's going out tomorrow. Here's in there at least. So I think we're going to go with white mittens, green cups, and then a white scarf, but with red little decor on it. Do we all agree? this bizarre plan.
You could do red stripes on the bear scarf to make it look like a candy cane. Oh, so yeah, diagonal, like a thick, a thin, a thick, a thin. I like that idea. And since it's going on, we're just over two hours on the stream. Can't believe we did a craft before this and we got this close to being done too. Okay, I'm gonna try this stripey thing. And then we're gonna take off all of our little uh, masking and see how it came out. Hi, Brenda. The candy cane idea. What? She is going for the thick and thin lines. This is expert level cane. <laughs> you guys, candy canes are my favorite. I eat them. I love them. I know them. I have been known to order a peppermint mocha outside of the holiday season, even. Newsflash, you can get them all year round. They'll, they'll give them to you anytime.
I think we did it. I think we did it. So I might still mess around with this painting a little bit tomorrow, but let's at least take a look. Oh no, it's not, uh, YouTube is not censoring. Uh, Xmas. It's just that it it wasn't sure what you were saying, so it a it held the comment for me to approve. So I approved you. Look at that. That's so fun. Makes little um like little boogers. Is the best way to describe it. I mean, that's just the scientific way of describing it. But look at it. I love. It looks like snow. This is deeply satisfying. Let's do the tail. Fun. This is great. I now want to figure out a whole design that I can do in white that I can use this stuff for. No boogies. Oh, it's so magical. Ukrainian eggs. That's a good idea. Here's our stripes. They're not as successful because I couldn't really see what I was doing when I was drawing the stripes. But that's okay. I should take classes. I bet you there's all sorts of good uses for these products. I finally gave up my Skillshare subscription. I had it for years, but I felt like I was never using it. As soon as I gave it up, I was like, I shouldn't have done that. I think we're done. Nope, more over here. still be some zhuzhing with some extra levels of paint to give some some shadows. I think we're pretty close. Thank you. 
feel like the bear looks like he's just like on break, right? From work or something. Maybe they all work at the same place and they're just on break. Cindy says, it looks like fun and now I want some. You want snow boogies? Cindy says, my Christmas tree is all done in blue and white for the winter season with snowmen and snowflakes, but has candy canes for any color. Oh, I love that. Lady Galaxia says, I had a subscription too. I never used it once, but now I feel like I should have kept it. <laughs> I feel like the same, but I could probably just look step up on the YouTubes. I hope nobody's trying to use these as classes. This is just hangout time. It's not a it's not a master class on watercolor. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, the bear is just chilling from his shift at Starbucks. Oh, hi, priest. Hi, high priestess. <laughs> high priestess says, the different scarves really make it. Yeah, I like it. It has little dots, little candy canes, little stripes. I'm glad we stuck with red, though. I think maybe the bear sweater needs a little bit more... Something, something, something. I might some, add some more sh shadows, and I'm definitely going to be going through with my my fine liner, just my micron pen, and giving it um, a little bit darker outline as well. I just wanted to uh, do it really lightly to start to see where what, what I would get. <laughs> Lady Galaxia says, "Figure out a master class with Lady MC." <laughs> <laughs> the fox is okay perfect the fox is like what you didn't bring me any that explains why he doesn't have a cup oh and the green cups do kind of like say starbucks don't they because the green and white logo you guys so smart cute i like it it's gonna take a little bit more i think i might do the sky a bit more oh no maybe i'll leave it but I don't know, I feel like the bear needs a little darker, a little darker around the face and a little zhuzhing, but I think I'm gonna leave it here for tonight because it's starting to get late. And I'm happy with, with where we got to. I'm pretty happy with that result, you guys. So next stream, let's talk about that. It's gonna be on December 27th. Wednesday, December 7th, and I'm going to be using felt, yarn, and fibers to make um, ornaments, tree ornaments, and garland. I have lots of fun ideas, so I hope you will join me. It's always so fun to hang out with you guys. Thank you for such a relaxing evening. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you guys for hanging out the whole time. Worth Wilding says, yes, the fox says harumph. I'm gonna give the fox a little smile though. So when you get the when you get the pen pal card, don't be surprised if it's a little bit more the line work is a little heavier. And there's a little bit more shadow and and that kind of stuff. But I'm happy with how we ended it, you guys. You're so welcome, helpful natural. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, you guys. And I will see you in December for holiday ornaments. Have a great night. And thanks for hanging out.